Alright, today is just going to be a quick and easy tutorial uh, how you can show the FPS count in game in uh, Battlefield 1 and also we are going to do the tutorial uh, on how you can execute this command uh, automatically every time you start Battlefield 1 without having to type it into the console command. So just let's go to the game here. Uh, let's see. Where is my cursor? There. So we spawn in and we're going to enter the console. Uh, now by default this is the tilde key. Uh, you might have it to something else, uh, that depends on you, uh, but you can see that in the key bindings. Uh, in the console we want to type proof overlay, uh, proof is for performance of course, overlay dot draw fps space true. That's proof overlay dot draw fps uh, space true. So when we enter this, uh, you can see the FPS appears up in the uh, up in the right corner here. Okay, so if we quit the game here, we are going to go to the desktop, uh, in which I will show you how you can make this command go automatically every time. Uh, so you can press uh, new text document, just leave it with that name for now, uh, you type curve overlay dot draw fps space true, exactly like you did in the uh, in the uh, console in game, you save that, and then you edit the name of this uh, to user, and you edit the file type to CFG. Now we're gonna get this little warning here that uh, if you change the file type it's going to be unusable but it's going to be perfectly usable for what we want it to do. So press yes here. And uh, now what you want to uh, do is go into your Battlefield 1 install folder. Uh, mine is located at uh, my storage drive, uh, program files x86, origin games and then Battlefield 1. And you just want to copy this right into your uh, Battlefield 1 install uh, folder. So we are going to go back to the game um, to see if this is working. And it should be working. Uh, because when you type something in this user CFG file, uh, it will automatically execute every time you start the game. So you can also enter uh, different console commands in there, uh, but for now we are just doing the FPS counter, because that's the most ba basic and easy. So now you see the FPS counter is in the upper right corner, and this is just as we are starting the game. So our test was a success, and uh, you should now have that in the upper right corner every time you start the game. Alright, thanks for watching.